So hi, this one's this one's just a this one's just a really quick one. Um, so yeah, things have been going well. I slept for like nine hours overnight. I did wake up halfway in the middle, but you know, to have slept that long was it was beautiful because um, I haven't done that for a couple of weeks. Uh, I've got a lot less pain today. Um, I think I, what I did also is I didn't quite take up the bandage but I took up the edges and kind of just replaced where they were because I they did kind of feel like they were pulling like they still feel like they're pulling now like here and like down here and up here but uh I mean once I got them taking the bandage off tomorrow evening that's what I got told so I do have some extras so if I still feel like it's a bit look I might just pull back on for one more day but otherwise I think I won't really check in until Monday um this is what my voice kind of sounds like at the moment uh I have been coughing some stuff up today but you know like I was instinctively the last couple of days not blowing my nose when it felt like you know like it was running so it's I think it pretty sure it's just oh, that junk sorry it's probably like too much information but you know I don't feel like I'm choking or anything um so yeah uh think everything is going well um like I said like I'm not gonna I don't think I'll do a, a check-in tomorrow because I won't be anything much I think I'll do a check-in after I see my GP on Monday uh, I've got an appointment with the physio on Tuesday so I might wait till Tuesday and kind of talk about what he's talking about uh the other thing I've kind of noticed today is that these two fingers which were the numb ones are kind of they're not numb. I wouldn't, I wouldn't call them numb, but they just feel different to my other fingers. Like, there's just something foreign about them. Whether or not it's just because, like, they've, you know, be without sensation for so long that they just don't feel right. But, uh, you know, I definitely have feeling everywhere. Like, and I haven't dropped anything. They are still a little bit movie, movie. This one's the one that loves to move the most, but you know, I still haven't seen the physio yet, so I'm pretty sure, like, we're still thinking that possibly that it has to do with the muscles or ligaments being atrophied. But, like, compared to what they were, they were kind of like da 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 earlier before I had the surgery done, so we'll see what happens. Uh, yeah, so that's if that's the only thing that, you know, like, if I come out of this and just be like, my fingers feel a bit foreign, but they have full sensation and they fully work and it's fine with me you know much better than me being in pain if you just remember a couple of days ago from my video from beforehand and I'm like grabbing at my boob because there's just like this sharp pain that's stabbing me here or you know I've got a pain here or I've got a pain here or I've got pain so bad here that I can't even hold a mouse so you know I think we're all good and golden <laughs> um I haven't, like, the other thing that I really kind of annoys me is, like, I haven't really been brushing my hair just because when I lift both my hands, I just feel this entire thing, like, tighten and restriction. But I think, again, that might still just be the bandage. The bandage. Um, so, like, I'll see tomorrow when I take this off if I still have that kind of same tightness. Because, um, again, like, all the places it kind of feels like when I do this, it like, here and here... Which, like, you know, considering my incisions in here, that, that seems definitely, like, more to do with the bandage. Just because it's, like, kind of, like, moved to my creases and it's not really giving me the position to stretch properly. Um, but, yeah. So, you won't see me again for a couple of days. Uh, so, Tuesday, it's five to six days away from here. But, yeah everything's going good so well like I said I'm definitely deeper deeper and huskier than I was sometimes I hit my normal range of voice um so whether or not I'm gonna this is just to do with surgery or it is that the nerve is disrupted at, but because the way I talk I can push myself into like so I like, usually I talk in a kind of deep voice and then I as I get excited I get, rise up which is you know natural um but if I'm at a lower point, then me doing my 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 raise, my raise voice would kind of put me in my normal range. So I think it could possibly be that we my voice is going to be down here, but uh, for a while anyway. 
but I can push myself in my excited, uh, exuberant way into my more normal range. Um, <laughs> but we'll see. Uh, you know, the, the more interesting thing is that when I get back to streaming, um, in terms of like, because I usually play like, well, I've been playing Dark Sun and we've been doing silly voices. Whether or not I can do the silly voices is the question. And I, because of the kind of vocal um, gymnastics that I go through, I have not even attempted any of that yet. Um, and again, that also might have to do with the bandage because I can't move my throat um, the way I usually do. But I guess we'll see what happens when I take my bandage off. But because I don't, I have no idea what it looks like under here. He, the doctor seemed to like, you know, the fact that he was like, no, no, no. When you get it off, you don't have to worry about the area getting wet. Uh, he su uh, suggested to me that it's probably going to be fully closed um, and I might still see the stitches, but they'll be disintegrating. But I guess we'll see. Uh, he was, <laughs> I really kind of wish that I'd taken a photograph of it or, you know, when he was doing it, so I could, you know, had some sort of frame of reference about what was happening in here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I guess remains to be seen. Um, if it's still kind of weird looking... Uh, when I, I like I said I made I, in the uh, before times I've made like um, little like you know knitted things like this that are you know lightweight and all that to go over that so no one has to worry about seeing anything that looks quite gross I can look pretty <laughs> um, so yeah that's that's where we're at I will say out of all the people that I've seen with it, who's had this surgery in the their vlogs none of them at this day have been quite as deep and husky as me but uh i'm trying to think if i saw any of them that were day before i thought one that was day before and her voice was much higher than mine so that could still be the case uh it's just i kind of sometimes go into like especially when it's reaching the end of the night um in the last couple of days that i just don't want to talk the thing is, I want to talk, but I don't want to talk. So I do a lot of, hmm, mm-hmm, 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 mm hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm hmm, mm hmm. Um, but yeah, we'll, it's going to see how I am in a couple of days' time. Uh, obviously, like, I'm getting around. I did have a nap this afternoon, just because my body, I, you know, I was sitting here and my, I was just like, ugh, and I'm like, I haven't had anything that's, you know, narcotics. It's obviously my body just said, I want a nap. And I'm like, okay, we'll do it. We'll do it. That's fine. It's absolutely fine. I'm not working today. Um, I told work I'm not going to work for the next two days. And they're fine with that as well. So, they, so I'm starting work from home again on Monday. Um, and uh, then depending on how my post-operative with my GP goes, I'm just going to say, you know, two weeks time I reckon from that point considering the doctor was kind of say about two to three weeks for driving uh, but since I'll be going back to the physio the physio will be able to you know sign off on uh, me being able to drive again just so that you know I can give it to her. I can say someone actually says I can drive thumbs up um, but yeah I was gonna go wasn't I yeah I have a, I have a nasty habit of that um, but yeah see in a couple of days after the physio appointment so we can kind of talk about what happened with that and then see how I'm going with that and we will look at what's happening in here um I figured not tomorrow because it might still look ghastly even if it's closed but uh it should be a bit more normal by then and even then I like I said I'll wear the scarf and have like a full like I'm gonna take it down now if you don't want to see it uh if you don't think you're ready for it, then <laughs> look away now. Anyway, but uh, yeah. Talk to you guys later then. Bye.